friends and welcome to May. If you've never seen one of these videos before, hi my name is Caroline. I uh, document my destashing journey, uh, take you guys along with me. So we are starting the month with 239 skeins. Uh, these are 50 gram skeins. And the plan is to finish some work in progresses so I can actually scratch up a lot of yarn I've technically already used, if that makes sense. I really want to finish my Ingrid sweater this month um, so I need to get more yarn for that because I still haven't done that uh, and then um, just have to finish the first sleeve or the last sleeve and then we have a fully wor worked up sweater uh, which deletes like eight, seven, eight skins out of stash I'll have to look that up because I'm not sure from the top of my head and then maybe perhaps May will be the month um, in which I finish my camisole number five. So this is my camisole number five. All I have to do for this one is do the double knitting section. Um, but it's, I, I don't like double knitting. Uh, I've been pulling this on hold for a while. So maybe May is the month that I'll get to it. Um, maybe. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm not feeling as opposed to it anymore. So, might get to this. And then I also really want to finish uh, my new design. Um, there's about ha one and a half, no, two, two and a half skeins in here already. Um, but I need to get more yarn in um, to be able to finish this one. So I'm gonna go ask my friend if she can dye some more. Um, and then I hope to be able to finish this one this month as well. That would be great. Um, and I'm like nearly finished with this one as well. So uh, we would probably have like 14 skins. Almost 14 skins out of stash if we were able to finish all these three projects this month. Which, which I feel like it should be doable. I'm not quite sure about my camisole number five. I do feel like it's gonna be that last project, um, but we'll see. Kat, are you, are you kidding me? And then I also have my Mother's Day gift um, that I'm working on, which is, technically speaking, I finished the pattern, um, but I think I still have some yarn left, so I think I'll just add some more a length to it now um, so I'll just be knitting back and forth until my yarn runs up out basically um, which would mean that uh, there are two skeins out of stash uh, with this project and that's definitely gonna happen this month I feel very good for this month I feel very positive um, last month we gained three skeins but most of them are in these current projects so um, yeah, it's, it's fine. I feel really good about this month. I think it's going to be great. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get to it. I picked up my camisole number five. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. Um, I decided to rip back the little bit of double knitting that I did because I was starting on it. I was like, no, I don't want it. I don't want to do it. And so I ripped it back and now I'm just going to do a folded neckline and folded armholes um, because I looked on Ravelry and really the difference is so small in like the way it looks and so big in the amount of distress it causes me <laughs> so you know what we're just gonna do this and if i ever happen to feel like doing double knitting uh, i can always rip it out and do it again probably won't because this seems fine to me 
um, but yeah we'll see I'm almost done with the um, the folded neckline um, and uh, now I'll cast it up and see what I think but I think this is gonna be fun honestly all right, so as I said in the last video of the stashing, uh, I had a lot of projects that were newly finished. Uh, and so we're about five days into May and I've already finished two projects. So um, I wanted to show those to you. The first one is my mom's present. It's this shawl. So this one used up 100 grams. Um, so two skeins. And I do really like the way um, this yarn works up in this project. I think it's really, really nice. But then the second project is my camisole number five. I am lucky kind of pissed that I waited so long to finish this one because in the end it really was not that difficult. Um, because instead of the double knitting, I uh, chose to just do a folded um, edge and put in some elastic and it works great. It's perfect, it fits great. Um, and I do genuinely think I'm gonna be wearing this a lot in the summer. So I'm glad that I finished it now. And then we can find a new project to work on because I'll be getting the yarn um, for my crossover top um, this weekend. Um, and the yarn for the Ingrid sweats I still have to order so um, yeah I can't work in those projects right now so yeah I'll just cast on a quick one I think maybe a pair of socks maybe I don't know we'll see update uh it's been a couple of days so i finished the front section and the back section and i just um joined it in the round so um yeah we are now knitting in the round i actually think it's looking really really good with this yarn i really really like it this is the this is hobby yarn i got on black friday i think it's just called hobby black friday cotton all right, so today is Saturday the 18th of May uh, and we're going to go to a yarn fair um, with Mirta. We dropped some yarn a couple days back um, for this yarn fair. Yeah, I'm going to go there. I don't need anything. Okay, I don't need anything. I will say I have the um, sweater, uh, sweater quantity of mohair. Um, and I really want like a Noro-esque kind of yarn. I know some uh, fenders I think carry Noro. So if there happens to be something that I really fall in love with that I can use with that mohair, I might allow myself to buy it because, I mean, that way I can also use a mohair so it's kind of like a win-win, you know? Um, but that's all, okay? If there's anything I'll buy, it's that. If I don't buy that, I won't buy anything, okay? said I wasn't going to come back with anything unless it was Noro yarn. Uh, I lied. <laughs> it looks worse than it is, I promise. Um, I've been wanting to learn how to spin my own yarn for a while. Um, and Myrta knows how to spin. And she was willing to teach me how to spin. And she's like, well, if you want to learn how to spin, you'll need 
from fiber to spin. I was like, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, and so she got me this as a thank you for, I guess, Dion dying and me being there today. Uh, obviously didn't have to do that, but I'm like, I'm really thankful that she did. So I've got two colors. So I've got 300 grams of this fiber. Look at it. And then 400 of this color. It's like, a, like it's not white. It looks white. It's like a beigey, very light pink um, to fly with the rainbow um, yarn. And I am excited! But yeah, uh, if I do manage to get started this month or next month or whenever, I'll obviously will show it to you guys because um, I'm really excited about it. I am debating if I'm gonna put it as like in stash because it isn't. It's not like yarn yet, right? It's fiber to make yarn with. So I think I'm gonna put it in my, into my stash as I spin it because uh, I think that's I don't know, I have to think about it. I might just put it in now to be done with, but it also like it isn't yarn. So it's a bit of like a weird, a weird little situation, but um, I'll figure it out. So I told you I was going to take you along with the journey, um, I did it because I got way too excited and way too into it and focused and it was very challenging at the beginning uh, but I just hanged up my first um, yarn that I made, here it is, I think Obviously, it's not perfect, but I think for first try, this is actually pretty solid. So, uh, Myrta lends me her electric spinning wheel, so I don't have to think about my feet and my fingers at the same time. I can just fix them with my fingers. And I think I kind of have, have it down now. Um, so that's exciting. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with this. So it is 22-ish grams, 20, 20 grams of yarn, so I don't know what I'll be doing with this. I'll probably just be making a swatch and put it on my swatch wall um, because this is so special to like preserve my first little, little spin. So far I'm liking this, which is dangerous because I do not need another hobby. Well, I think I think I found another hobby. <laughs> you because it's been a while. Uh, first things first, I made more yarn. Um, so this is like the the actual fibre that I got from here that I showed you early in this video. Um, um, so I applied the rainbow together with the like the basic uh, colour and I think it is absolutely stunning. So this is about 80 grams um, which kind of hurts my, my soul a little bit because I this took me a while to make, right? Just 80 grams and I have, how much do I have? A, a lot, like a sweater quantity. So it's gonna take me a while, but I think it's also, that's just part of spinning. That's just the way it is, you know? Um, but I think it is really, really pretty and I can't wait to start on that sweater. 
So this is my Camisole 4. I don't know if I have actually really talked about this one. Uh, but this is my Camisole 4. I've made this um, I've made this before in the Knitting for Olive Pure Silk. Controversially, I don't really like that yarn. Um, it also just doesn't wear quite well, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, I don't really wear that one because it's also quite a little, quite, quite short. Uh, and it just isn't, it just didn't really work out. This is in the Hobby Cotton, Black, Black Friday Hobby Cotton. Technically, this is a limited edition yarn, but um, I am fairly certain that this is very similar to their... Um, I think it's got a rainbow cotton. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's fairly similar. I, I mean, don't quote me on that because I've never used it, but I would imagine it is comparable. So, yeah, it is really nice though. It's a really nice cotton, uh, very soft, um, quite stretchy actually for cotton. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not, it's not my wool, but um, for cotton, it's really, it is a really, really nice cotton. So yeah, um, I have did about 15 centimeters of the body. Uh, probably gonna add like five to 10 more centimeters. Um, don't know what the pen says, I think 25 centimeters. Uh, and I think I'll just actually follow the pattern this time. Um, because I quite like this sort to be a little flowy and longer than my actual like my usual summer tops because usually I just crop everything um, but I think this one will lend itself well to being a bit longer um, so yeah um, that's what I'm working on I finished my camisole number four, as you can see. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot better than my first camisole number four. I just like the fibre better because I made the first one in um, knitting for olive pure silk, and this is in the hobby cotton. It's just a 100% cotton yarn, and it's just for me, it feels much better. So it's definitely a little bit more wavy. Like it's less light. So if you really want a summer fiber, I would go with the silk. Um, but for me, this is perfect. It just, it looks better in my opinion. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. I also quite like the color, so good basic. And then I started on a new pair of socks because as I said, I was traveling. So, um, and I knew this one was gonna be finished pretty soonish. So. Uh, I wanted to uh, bring this along with me so I could start a sock if I run out of something to work on, and I did. So um, this is the sock we are currently working on. It's going to be just a basic sock because this is quite a interesting yarn by itself. I just I really like basic socks. I think they are generally speaking the most comfortable, um, and I just really like to have. A very basic project to work on while I do other things to just like mindlessly knit. Uh, I think that is great. So the light blue is the Walk Tough Sock Mini. I got this uh, yarn for my birthday from Lisa. And then the main sock yarn is a Boots sock yarn. I can't remember the full name. Uh, I'll put it on the screen or in the description. Uh, and this is yarn that I also got for my birthday last year. <laughs> Which says enough, I got these both for my birthday last year. <laughs> I am really liking the way it turns out. It's definitely a bit different from what I usually would do. Um, but I like it. I think it's fun, it's very summery. Uh, and I like it so far. I think I'm just gonna do a sock, a sock tube again because I think that's just the easiest. And I don't have to think about it. And I like that. So that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, so uh, it's the end of May. Let's discuss finished projects, how the yarn I've used. First things first, I've talked about the shawl they make for my mum and my camisole number five. 
Um, they both uh, took approximately two skins out of stash, so um, together that's four skins out of stash. So yeah, that is this one. And the show I've already given away. Um, and then my third finished object is a bit silly, but um, as I said, we I've, I've spun yarn this month for the first time, and I I think I concluded that I want to put in the yarn in my stash as I make it, and so the first yarn that I spun was about twenty grams, so I put that in my stash, uh, and I made a swatch with this um, just so I can basically keep hold of this forever, put it on my swatch wall uh, and enjoy it for a while. Um, so this is because I need to take out the yarn out of stash in a project, this is now a project. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because I counted in 20 into stash and then 20 out, so it is, it's just, you know, a little square. <laughs> And then my last finished object of the month is my camisole number four. Um, it looks a bit big, but it actually fits really great and very nice, exactly how I envisioned it. The straps are made 20 centimeters long. They will stretch out a little bit more. And then the body is 25, um, which is, I think about two centimeters longer than what, pattern, what the pattern calls for. Um, for the medium size. This took up 115 grams, but I also gave some yarn away to a friend. Um, let me look how much that was. 500 and no, 171 grams I gave away to a friend. Um, and in total, we've used up 10 skeins this month, which I think is really, really good. And by used up, I just meant mean out of stash because the the three balls that I gift uh, gave away obviously I haven't used, but they're not in stash anymore. So, um, yeah, we are now on a total of two hundred and twenty nine skeins. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, um, maybe tell me what you're working on at the moment. I love reading your t your comments. Follow me on Instagram and on Ruffery under Caroline's Corner. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.